Well, my fondest memory, I must say that it, it must be the day spent in RBR. Uh, I don't know what is it called now. I mean, back then it was called the Recommended Book Room, as well as the quiet corners of the third and fourth floor of the library. Uh, in case uh, you, you, you thought that this is the days of mugging and studying, uh, not quite so. Really, these places uh, were the best venues for sharing notes, sharing time, precious time with your friends. And it is to exchange notes and exchange notes because we, we usually skip classes. Uh, and also to catch up on gossips. Um, two very close groups, two of my closest study groups, buddies, one from the Catholic Student Society and the other from the Japanese Studies Department. Uh, of course, one individual was from the English Lang Department. They became very lifelong friends. And uh, studies apart, uh, we sp the time spent over um, the good and difficult times, uh, breakups, uh, bad term results, and etc. They remain very much uh, treasured uh, till today. And uh, the fellowship and the friendship uh, that was forged over all these years were perhaps very precious and invaluable. But of course, the other fondest memories must be that I met my wife in uh, NUS. We were in the same department, Japanese Studies Department, and she was my, she was my junior. And I think it really pays for me to play a senior in the department and helping her with notes and advice. And uh, as the Chinese saying goes, Jing Sui Lou Tai Xian De Yue. Um, one of the most enriching experiences I've had over my 30 years of uh, foreign service was my posting to Kuala Lumpur uh, back then in 2001 to 2002 and the two relatively lengthy periods overseeing, uh, amongst other things, uh, overseeing the relations between Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, managing relations with neighbouring countries can be very challenging but yet professionally satisfying. During these periods, uh, I had witnessed and was involved uh, in several bilateral projects uh, between Singapore and Malaysia, including the first water talks, the uh, bridge negotiations, Pedro Branca, and the settlement of the outstanding issues in the points of agreement, including the land swap deal and the moving of the um, Malayan Railway uh, station from Tanjong Paga to Woodlands. Uh, and in all this, uh, in the conduct of uh, bilateral relations, it is uh, inevitable that disputes and, agree and disagreement will arise from time to time. This is more so with close neighbours, one with which we share a common land border, one which our histories are intertwined and our people have family, social and business ties. And precisely because of these close ties, managing relations with Malaysia takes on a very special meaning. And I'm very proud and privileged uh, to have the opportunity um, to be involved in managing our relations with Malaysia through good and through difficult times. Really, joining the Foreign Service, or more generally, the Public Service, is to me a calling or a mission. And it is about giving back to the Singapore system and society as a whole, which have been most accepting of my failure. Uh, let me explain a little bit. Unlike many others, making it into NUS was not a given. Academically, I used to think that it was a given. Uh, I was always good in my, in my studies up till college. That I would not make it into university never once crossed my mind. 
but alas, my overconfidence and complacency uh, were my biggest downfall. And uh, I, I messed up my A-levels. Uh, but my results were not good enough to get into NUS, yet it was not sufficiently bad enough to repeat in college. So I had no choice. Uh, I repeated my A-levels as a private candidate and while serving my NS at the same time. Fortunately, uh, the time that I put in during the one year of uh, as a private candidate, I did well enough uh, to get into NUS thereafter. That two and a half years of national service, in a way, allowed me a second chance. And I was enrolled into NUS at the same time as my male college friends. After our NS, we went in together. I therefore treasured very much the opportunity I had in NUS and for a system and society that accepts failure and allows one a second chance. My mind was, has always been that I want to repay it back. And that's the reason why I'm still in the public service till today.